Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, Part 4. We're dealing with the spirit of seduction and the many ways it operates. Here's another way. Now you're dealing with a very charming, very charming lover. <laughs> and I mean, they have charmed your socks off. They are there at every beck and call. They're so helpful. They're dependable. They're reliable. Your family loves this person. Not as male or female. That's why I keep saying they. Because from whatever gender you come from, you be thinking of the opposite sex. So you picture that. Now, listen to this. So here you are. This person looks good. Stacked like a brick house. Got money to boot. Mm-hmm. Got it going on in all ways. But now, here's an issue. You go out somewhere. They have charmed you. And they start feeling around. Now, this is what they're doing. They're sending their feelers out. This is how the spirit of seduction works. They're feeling you out now. You're in public. They're not touching up on your body. They're in the restaurant or the movies or at a, at a, a place where, you know, you can sit and talk. And they are feeling you out. So they start asking questions about you and they start, they want to know more about you. And so when they know about you, they also hear about some of the stupid stuff you put up with in your life. And they start, they're starting to do the math. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Now, spirit of seduction working now. There comes a point where the relationship begins to climax. It begins to, it comes to this, this grandiose moment. And they know that they got you. They've got you hypnotized. Yeah. Got you mesmerized. And you're, you're like, <laughs> okay, now, they got you now. They got you right where they want you. And what do they say? They do the push. I call it the push and pull. It's a strategy that manipulators use when they're under the anointing of the spirit of seduction. Check it out, check it out. They bring up an issue with the relationship and they question something. They question you. They question how you feel about them. They question where you really are. The reason for the question is because they want to cast a shadow of doubt on the whole arrangement. Why do they do that? They want to instill fear in you. Because now they know that they got you where they want you. You are enthralled by them. And they are getting ready to lower the boom. The reason for lowering the boom is not to break up with you. They want you to see the shadow hovering over that says there's a possibility this relationship may end and it's because of you. What is that meant to do? What manipulation is that, is, is that meant to bring on? Think about it. Think about it. What are you supposed to do now? Uh-huh. You are to prove how much they mean to you. And you go for it, hook, line, and sinker, baby. Why? Because you don't recognize the spirit of seduction working at its best. Mm, mm, mm. So now the person gives you the silent treatment. They have this talk and they want you to think about where the relationship, you know, whether the relationship has a chance or not. Because they're not sure you really mean what you say. They're not sure. See, they've gone through a lot of hurts. Here comes the dialogue. This is the script coming out now. They've gone through a lot of hurts. And a lot of people have stabbed them in the back. And they can't take chances. And they have to know that you really mean what you say. So let's take a break from each other for a minute. Because now they have to do some serious thinking. 
about whether this relationship is going somewhere or whether it needs to end right here and now. And what they're operating under, so they tell you, is the fact that they don't want to be hurt anymore. They don't know if they can take it because they've already tried to kill themselves once. They and you, your heart is like, where do I do it, right? Wait, I got to do the melodrama. Hang on. This is your heart. Oh, no. I mean, they got you going. To puck it, to puck it, to puck it, to puck it. Anyway, so here you are. Sorry, I got I to gotta, I gotta set the stage. So here you are. You're taking in all of this, and it's getting, the climax is now coming to, a, a sob, a, a sob, a sobbing, melodramatic uh, break, so to speak. And you're like, no, 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 no. And they see it. They see it in your eyes. They see it in your body language. Even if you're trying to be cool, they see it. And they leave it at that. They either call you a cab to get home, they drive you home, or, or they ask you to drive them home, whatever the case, or they just go. Now you're sitting there. You might even be stuck with the bill. But anyway, moving right along, they're gone. And you don't hear from them for two, three days, might be a week, might be two weeks, right? Now while you're sitting there broken, confused, dumbfounded, stunned. The other person is, <laughs> they know what they're doing. They're just stirring, watching the clock, stir a little bit more, watch the clock. They know you called a few times. And then they'll call you so you recognize their number and they'll hang up. All these little things, manipulation, manipulation, okay. Now, then they finally break down and right when you're at a place, and they might have been watching you and stalking you to watch what you're doing. Watch your mood and your whole demeanor. And what happens? They catch you right at a nice vulnerable moment. They see you sitting at an outdoor cafe and they dress and they got the cologne and they stride up. Yeah, dress to the nine, baby. And they swagger up to you, right? Or they switch their little hips and they glide up into your line of view and they prance and sit their little selves down. And now they're looking concerned. Are you okay? I hope I didn't hurt you. I just needed time to think. And everything in you is like, ah, they're here, they're here. And they see it in your body, English. They see it in your eyes. They see it. And they know they got you. And this is what they're doing. Oh, I got to do it with this. This is what they're doing the whole time. I know you've heard this expression. Wrapping you around their finger, baby. Mm. Now. That's the spirit of seduction. Now they got you locked in. They got you locked in. You're like the elephant that has been held by a chain on a stump. And I don't know if it's three, five, or seven days, but there's a certain length of time that that elephant with the freedom in his spirit fights for his freedom. Then that one day extra breaks his spirit and he no longer fights for freedom. And he's locked into bondage from his mind. You can take that chain off, that elephant will never try to run away. He's locked. He is mentally, psychologically, emotionally, spiritually on lockdown, baby. On lockdown. Now, and this is what this person is doing to you. Clank. Got you locked in, baby. 
hook, line, and sinker. You ain't going nowhere. Now, the training part begins. Now it's time for you to learn some lessons about who runs the show. Because the manipulator the, who's under the spirit of seduction gets his jollies off of controlling you. She gets her jollies off of manipulating you. Mm. Mm. And what ends up happening? Slowly but surely, a few moments of disrespect, followed by a tearful apology, a heart-wrenching apology. The next few weeks, a few more moments of disrespect, and contempt, disregard, followed by, oh, such repenting sorrow, false repentance, sorrowful, oh, I should never do you like that, you're so good to me, you're so loving, you're so, oh, I'm, it's just, it's everything I've been through, you see, you don't understand what I've been through, I don't mean to treat you that way, crocodile tears, splat, splat, splat. And what are you doing? Comforting them. But the big blow comes. And this is why many of you don't go anywhere. The big blow comes when the physical abuse follows. When the physical abuse follows, oh my goodness, you haven't seen an apology like the apology that follows physical abuse. You talk about Oscar-winning acting awards. There should be Oscar-winning awards for these acts that they put on. And what do you end up doing with your black eye, your lump on your head, your broken shoulder? You end up comforting them while they're in their gut. They're laughing at you like you the biggest fool coming and going. Because they got you. They know no matter what they do to you, you're there for them. And that's the way they want it. You can play with the spirit of seduction all you want. Your loneliness can keep you there. Hey, have it your way, baby. But I tell you what, it ain't nothing to play with. The spirit of seduction is deadly, dangerous, diabolical. Cut that crap loose while you still have a mind, a little sense left up in that, in that hollow brain of yours. Get your heels to clicking and get out of there. What are you waiting for? For them to kill you when they're ready for someone else? And they're tired of you because you're old, you're beat up, you're run down. They've used you up, nothing left for you to do them any good now. You won't wait for that day, huh? I'm not trying to be mean. Just trying to get you to think. 